ladies. So today I'm going to tell you um, my testimony about womb birth. So I had my first son at the hospital, and then the second kid, I wanted to, I wanted so much to have a home birth, and my husband was not on board, like whatsoever. <laughs> and so I remember I was, um, I had not. It was like towards the end of the pregnancy. You know how you have the weekly visits. The closer it gets. So I was two weeks out, and that day I was um, going, I was teaching a class at the college, a uh, fitness class at the college, and I had gone to, to, I was going down, oh, first to get my hair done, because my sister was gonna do my hair. And so I um, got to her house, and I remember, you know, I'm breathing, and it had not dawned on me that I was in labor. <laughs> no idea, because with my first kid, um, my water broke first, and then my baby came a few uh, hours later. But this one, I, no water broke, and I didn't think anything of it. I'm like, eh, okay. And so it wasn't, as I was saying, I was, went to my sister's house that day to um, get my hair done, and I also had the appointment to go, and I was gonna meet the midwife at the, uh, ho the birthing place in the hospital. And um, so I get to my sister's house, you know, and I'm breathing and all of that. And um, I was just like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> so I just need a minute. So, you know, I'm going, you know, it's in there. She's doing my hair, brushing my hair. And then, um, you know, um, I was just like, you know what? You, I think you're in labor. I'm like, oh, no, my water didn't break. She's like, that doesn't mean anything. So I call my husband. And no, I um, start to time the contractions. And then they're like two minutes apart. And so I called my husband, I'm like, you know what? Um, I believe I'm in labor. And the contractions are two minutes apart. So we're talking. So I'm just call my husband, tell him, you know, I'm too, um, having contractions. They're two minutes apart. And so he's like, well, we're talking and laughing and stuff. And then he was like, call me back when they're under two minutes. Because um, I think that was happened in our first, with our first kid. So I was like, yeah, okay. And I was like, you know, I'll call called the uh, midwife to let her know. So I called her and she's like, um, how far a part of your contraction? So I was like two minutes. She's like, you need to get here yesterday. I said, oh, okay, I'm on my way. And the good thing is my sister lived like two blocks from the hospital, so it was really close. And then, um, you know, I'm breathing and stuff because, you know, stuff is getting a little bit more intense. <laughs> and so um, I, as soon as I hang up the phone with the midwife, um, Boom, baby comes. I mean, I had no time to push. The baby was there. <laughs> and so my whole point and everything just went well. And my mom was there, my sister was there. So it was like great, you know, my husband missed it, but um, they were there. But my whole point in this testimony and story is, you know, father saw the desire in my heart and he gave it to me. I had a home birth. It wasn't at my home, it was my sister's home, but still. And it was just so, so good and then that just opened the door for the other two and I had um, my next two kids were all home birth. they were both home births as well so that's my testimony you know God does gives us the desires of our heart and you don't have to especially if you're married um, I remember I made a decision to keep strife out of my heart and out of my home and that's what you want to do and allow the father to just do things perfectly as only he can so you ladies have a great rest of your day or excellent rest of your week and i'll see you guys again real soon bye